Welcome back. We are on a Monday. We are geoguessing. We are in Japan. How's your weekend? Or if you live in the U.S., how is your three-day weekend commencing? Unless you're one of those people who took Friday off and now having a four-day weekend. Unless you're one of those people who decided to take Tuesday off and then you've got a four-day weekend and you're only halfway through it. Just remember when uh, Wednesday comes around, it'll be like none of this actually ever happened. Anyway. Um, I do remember my little anecdote from the end of the last episode where I was, I was going to talk about my terrible pitching, baseball uh, skill that I don't have, and how I I never actually threw a ball. Why are we doing it this way? Oh, God, we're going to have this problem. My inability to throw a baseball which I'm not going to completely take the blame for because at some point you got to learn it from somewhere and my dad until he had to never actually taught me because I learned it from looking at baseball cards I collected quite a few of them and every time I looked at a guy throwing a ball the only people who ever were throwing a ball on baseball cards were pitchers so every time they showed a picture of a pitcher, like either in mid throw or after throwing, their arm was like fully extended. And I'm like, okay, that's how you do it. You just keep your arm fully extended as you go through, kind of like you were a catapult or a trebuchet throwing a ball, which led to me throwing it very sh crappily, zero accuracy, zero power at all. And it wasn't until one specific day. We're at the Irie English Club, speaking some Jamaican while they're teaching you English. I don't know where in Japan this is. It's, they're not going to have very much in the way of English, and I don't remember enough hiragana to be, dis decipher anything out of here. But there was one specific day where I was at second base, and I was probably a good 20 to 30 feet away, and just thinking about it now. Getting, I'm laughing, but I'm also cringing at how bad this was. That um, I go to throw the ball, and I'm doing like, I'm, I'm I'm mimicking how I think a pitcher was throwing the ball, where I'm like lunging forward, arm completely locked, like elbow straight. Look at all these minis. These are old minis too. Nice. And I throw the ball with any no speed or velocity. And I think the guy actually beat out my throw. That's how bad it was. Imagine being 30 feet from first base. This is Little League, I think, at the time. Which is like, I forget what age. Maybe 10 or 11. The max. Christ, it's been forever. But then I guess somebody probably gave my dad enough shit. And he finally was like, all right, I will actually teach you how to throw baseball. And he finally did. And everything that I learned in a 15-minute 15 15 session with him just completely erased a multitude of years of throwing it the wrong way. And I'm like, well, couldn't you have just done that in the first place? But... Didn't matter. I didn't really like playing baseball. I didn't want to get hit. I was always scared of getting hit. I want to be hit with things. It's not fun. Uh, so I only felt like I played baseball out of an obligation. Oh, the round ended. We were near Numazoo. Five stars. Because I want to go to Japan. My only reasoning. And it's kind of that way with most sports. Like, yeah, I like playing football, but also I felt like it. John Olson Road. Football was fun. It was okay. But if I had a choice between doing that and not doing that, or something else, I mean, any other fall sport at my high school, none of them interest me. And I kind of felt since my dad played it all the time, I was like, I guess I could play this. And he was. Better at it than I was. Or he was captain of the team. He was on defense. He just played offensive line. I've talked about this. Uh, 
previous episode. Contractor, coastal construction. All right, coastal construction, huh? What coast are we talking about here? Kokahati Track Creek and Woolhouse Creek Bridge replacement. Hmm. Um, thank you. I couldn't click on anything there for a second. Is this Hawaii? Um, no. I'm seeing, like, potential palm tree things here, though. I don't know. Hmm. I don't... Otara... Or is this... This is either Alaska... Or... I don't know what. I need to see some signage that tells me, like, speed and slow down. Okay, that doesn't tell me if it's kilometers or not. Whoa. Get me back here. Try to give way. I got... I'm halfway through and I've got no idea. I need to find some more information out here. Got some horses. They have horses pretty much everywhere. That doesn't tell me anything. Now I'm thinking about it. I don't even know if I did see a flag for uh, Hawaii. I would be able to identify it. I think it's one of the, just another one of those with the blue flag with the emblem on it. 75. I don't... I don't think that that's... Miles per hour? That seems a bit excessive for, uh, going around this, but where the hell is this? It's, there's English here. Okay, this sign is definitely going to help me. Ross Historic Gold Fields. Is this Australia? It's Ross Gold Town. Alright, I got 30 seconds. This is this is gonna be a really bad guess, I think. I need to see cars. You are driving on that side of the road. We are Australia. Gold was the west side of Australia, I wanna say. Hmm. I'm gonna click down here. Uh, this is Probably, this is going to be a bad score. Because this is either Australia or South America or Africa, and it's going to be uh, New Zealand. I guess you learn something new every Fuck me, this is. Well, I'm not on a I'm not in a car. I almost feel like I should just guess that this is, um, the, uh, what's it called? There's, like, some fancy, um, resort. I think it's in Bermuda. I feel that it, it's in one of these here. But I don't think... I'm going to get anywhere anytime soon. This is going to be a historically terrible round of view, I guess, or I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm 100% certain that this is just going to be total garbage. Sandals, maybe that's what that resort's called. Like, I had ideas about things I was going to talk about today, but now that I'm just so flustered about that last one. I went so badly. And then I'm in a fucking boat going around an island in the ocean. What do we got for Bahamas? What's the sandals we seeing? I'm just going to click over Bermuda. 
This is going to probably be like a sub thousand by my how badly this is going. This is either going to be the Atlantic or this is going to be fucking some island in the Pacific. But hit home. Like, I feel that this is that um, sandals, whatever the hell it's called. Get me on the island. I mean, what am I going to do with this? Why did they think this was a good idea? Is there no roads on this island? I'm... And he's just, like, drunk. This guy's like, I gotta map this island, but... Man, I, I just love kayak. I have to kayak, folks. This is my calling. They've just not invented roads in the Bahamas. Or if this is out in the Pacific. I want to see if I get zero points. I think that's the first time I would ever get zero points. Like, genuinely trying, too. I just assume that Western Australia had the gold rush. and Even without considering, potentially, that generally that side of the country is a bit more arid. What the fuck do I... I'm just saying garbage and... I got a garbage score because of it. Like, I don't know why I'm bother clicking anymore here. Like, I'm not magically going to see a sign that says, Welcome to Bahamas, or whatever island this is, in the next 30 seconds of... Like, I have no idea what direction he's going. If I'm, like, trying to get as far ahead as I can. I'm just looking for, like, the little X's on the screen to be, like, get me in the right direction. But no, he's just, like, randomly turning, and then I get, like, a... Bad, like, I can't, apparently he went this way. And then we're back over here. God damn it. All right, 10 sec. I'm going to hit the button because I just can't deal with this. Yeah, whatever. They didn't get any points. All right, tell me how I could have found out that that was Malaysia. I mean, this is about as far off as I can get. I am so mad. I am so, so mad. And this is France. Who, who gives a shit? Woo. I'm ready just to burn everything. And if anybody was doing math on the average score I could potentially get in any round of GeoGuessr, this is going to completely throw off my average. And you need these, I guess. To, there's always going to be outliers. I hate this how... That works as far as like logic. You do odds of things. Ooh, the route de Chapellerie. Well, I'm right here. I'm going to click here now. See if I'm any closer. I don't even care. I'm so very, very upset. Unless I was able to identify that specific building, I was in the water. That should, that, it's illegal because. Yes, well, technically, GeoGuess is just where they have images. <laughs> You're, it's always on a road. Always on a road. Or, I've come to expect it to always be on a road. Shouldn't it always say Arrête because it's France? Everything else is in English, or er, er, French. But their stop signs aren't. Go hang out a Paradog. Oh, Panalog? I don't know what they sell here. This is a very... Like, what's the point of this sign? You drive by, you would not be able to catch any of this stuff. Because billboards are supposed to be big, big letters, easy to read in a car as you're moving. This is just kind of like, alright, everybody that lives here needs to have their information here. and Alright, we have their information. I want more of it and if there's like six or five things in this technology park they're like you know well, he's got the same amount of space i want the same he's got like why do they have this here i see that says quest communications ftfs i don't know what it, like who is this for burn it all down this is 
so very upset. Very, very upset. Like, if this is Quebec, great, fine. Even though that road said otherwise that it was D, blah, -de blah, whatever the hell. Which is the only demarcated road signage for France that I've seen. Like, what? This is the weirdest telephone pole. Is it like a mandate that they have to be con made out of concrete? Like, we here in the U.S. and pretty much all of North America. Uh, Macedonia, I think, does it as well. They're made out of a tree. Like, maybe that one was a tree, too. But, like, everything seems to be out of concrete. Is there... No, that's a tree. No, that's concrete. Like, why do you have yours made out of concrete here? Is the tree bad? Like, what's the logic behind it? Like, I feel like a good, strong wind... Maybe it's like a wind thing. You don't get typhoon. Well, we don't get typhoons up here either. These seem way too brittle. Good storm could knock that stuff down. This is probably not near France, but I'm just going because every other time I've clicked, I mean Paris, but every time I've clicked, trying to guess where it was, they always were. No, it's just outside Paris. Great, fine. No, no one's getting any stars for the rest of this time. Oh, Japan. Well. I'm just hoping to actually break a thousand this time. I mean, I've given up on... If I get a, a 1300 roundabout, is about as best as I can do. I can't go this way because they've decided cars are not allowed on this road. But look what I did. Seems to be a abandoned section of... Man, we have a road sign up here that tells me Futaba. Okay, I need to see. Okay, we actually have a highway sign. That is the six. How far does the six go? It seems to be a small strip of. Well, there's Futaba. We head this way. So, I'm just going to click Futaba for now. I don't know how far away from Futaba we are. I just like saying Futaba. Is this a yield sign? What the hell is this? I'm going to assume that's yield just because it's got the same shape. I don't think that says yield, but it probably implies it. Like, see, they got... No, that's... These are metal, I think. I mean, I'm so, I'm so like, destroyed that I can't tell the difference between wood and metal. Carpool lanes. This is a nice little house. We're just going to go sightseeing now. Well, it was. They just need to clean up a little bit here. Maybe they're in the process of doing it. Or, no one lives here, maybe. No, they're fixing the roof. It looks... No, I don't know. Clean your house. This is, seems to be an abandoned part of... Japan. This is weird, because every time I've seen... Anything Japanese here... It's always been in a city or town. You don't really ever get to see, like... Run-down, abandoned Japan. I know it exists, it's just... You never see it. Like, was this... Part of the... Tsunami? They could be. I think this may be like the aftermath of. Uh, so maybe it's around. Fuk is Fukush There's Fukushima. This is crazy. This is kind of eerie to me. Because I don't know how far in the. Uh, surge went from the tidal wave, but it's crazy. There's the, there's the uh, Google car. Like, there's sections, it sucks again that this is also the end of uh, the video here, but after there was the Mississippi River flooded in the mid-90s, there's towns that are just 100% abandoned. 
and they look like this, just ghost towns. Although this is pretty soon after. Oh, maybe five years ago was Fukushima? I don't know, but... This is... Like, I would love to actually drive through one of these just to see how eerie this is. Like, there's still cars here. It's like, the, if, if you, that show of humans, ex, like, stopped existing, this is kind of what it looked like for a while after the, uh, for maybe five years afterwards, but that's crazy. I'm going to give that five stars. We, I've felt like it's been redeemed with that one just because it came to a cool place, but seriously, fuck this one. I want a mulligan on that one. Awful score. Awful round. Awful time. But then some breaks when you geoguess around the world. And you're here to watch me do it and laugh at me all the way. I defy anybody who watched, who saw that Indonesian guest to know where that was in the world. Please let me know. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you could, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. As far as what's going up for the rest of the week, I have no idea. I'm recording this on a Sunday. Evo has not responded back to me with my text. Um, if there's anything on Tuesday and Thursday, it's a surprise to me. As much to you. But anyway, we'll uh, at least be back for Wednesday with some more geoguessing. And I hope to never see this bottom, this side of the bottom of the barrel ever again. But, hope you're having a good Monday. I'm going to try to. So, until then, goodbye.